every now and then we take on different projects and you know like anybody uh, I look on YouTube when I'm trying to figure out something I'm unfamiliar with something that I'm not always working on and in the case of this what is it an 08 Scion XD that uses the very common Toyota 1.8 liter dual V V T I it's a dual variable valve timing injection is that the I it just sounds good with an I did not find anything specific I started to say about searching on YouTube for the timing marks on these dual VVTI engines. And bless him, uh, Peter Finn um, has uh, taken on a lot of these uh, you know, tedious jobs and um, again does a great job, helps a lot of people, but uh, man, if you're like me, I, I can't sit through 39 minutes of that. Uh, here I go babbling here, but we try to get to the point show the good stuff. That's what we do with our Mini Cooper stuff, our race engine builds. Here's the, uh, the original chain kind of in the same position. On the intake camshaft, there's these two discolored links right there. And they go right over this line. In our case, there's a little dot of paint on there and also this little mark right there between the two bolts pointing up at this being the correct mark. Note the position of the camshaft loads. Found some still shots from a forum post, thank you very much, and thought I'd show the details. There's the single colored link lining up to the timing mark on the um, exhaust cam. Note the position of the lobes to confirm your sprocket position. There are confusing marks, I'll say. But this is the only way they line up. And let's sneak down below here. You can see the rails in place. I've got this tensioner, temporary spring here holding the tensioner rail so we don't end up misplacing a link or two and losing our timing. I've installed this new upper rail uh, that prevents kind of a chain snap, keeps light tension on the chain there to reduce vibration. And so we're looking good for the cover going on. Let's take a quick look at the... Uh, well, first of all, I might see it from here. Yes, yeah, so you can see the keyway is pointing pretty well straight up center line. The keyway on the crankshaft itself there on the snout. It's a little bit hard to see. We'll show it from below. But the reason that's important is that indexes that sprocket. So you can't go, well, let's move the sprocket a tooth. That's attached to the crank and must hold that position. Over here, we've got the cover. If you position this with the keyway straight up center line, your timing mark is right on the zero. And that further confirms the position of that crankshaft sprocket. See the discolored link in the chain next to that dot on the sprocket, which as we mentioned is indexed to the crankshaft. And uh, as long as you have no uh, erroneous slack in the timing chain there uh, against the rails, this is correctly set up uh, for proper camshaft timing. Now, this is an interference engine, so this is not a time to guess and go, hope that's it. Um, if you're uncertain, you probably want to turn the engine over very carefully with no spark plug, so there's no compression. Um, as it is, this chain wants to snap around because, of course, the camshafts have load on them. And when you consider the valve springs holding open a valve, if not for the chain, and the cams would snap into a different position half the time. They wouldn't just sit where you leave them conveniently. All right, there we go, timing marks.